Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Music Biz Clinic series. I am Anitra J from the Crafty Musician blog. We post videos weekly on YouTube helping musicians build a fan base and make money with music. I host a series called the Music Biz Clinic where we work together to build the foundations to your music business. And for this particular series, we are working on your music business plan. Now, if you haven't seen any of our previous videos, we have been working through the music business plan for a couple months and we have, I think we have four videos already of the previous sections of the business plan. So make sure and go back and look at all of those sections. We did the executive summary. We did the market analysis. I think we did products and services. We've done a bunch of videos already. So if you've missed those, you can always go back and and catch up. But today we are going to be working on your business model. So what is a business model? A business model tells you exactly how you operate your business from point A to point B. Okay, so you have products and services. How do you intend to promote and market those services? How do you intend to market your services to your customers? How do you intend to get your services and products to your customers, have them market ready? And how do you intend to get your customers to buy? your products and services. So that's basically a business model. For us musicians, it might look a little different. We are going to be asking, what is our basic promotions and marketing strategy? What is our supply chain? How do we produce and create our products? How do we produce and create our music? And how do we get our music to the customers? Okay, um, I'm saying customers, but we would call them fans, listeners, a listening audience, fan base. How do you get your music to your fan base? How do you sell your music to your fan base? How do you sell your services to people who might hire you to do live performances? So we're going to be answering all those questions in the business model today. So before we get started, I do want to say that I'm sure that you have noticed by now that I have a different background and I wanted to let you know that we have moved. Um, before I was doing the videos, we were at an RV park with our tiny house. We bought a piece of property out here in the mountains and we have moved on to our property. Yay! So it's so exciting. We have a mix of off-grid home setting and um, traditional setup. So it took us a while. We're still kind of getting adjusted with everything, but it took us a while to get the infrastructure set up, making sure that we have all of our utilities and we're living comfortably. And so that's why I've kind of been absent for the past month, <laughs> trying to get moved and everything everything. But as you can see, this is a little bit of our property here in the background. And maybe I can um, share some pictures at some point of what the property looks like. It's just, it's so exciting. Um, so I have taken a little bit of a break, but I'm back and I'm very excited to be with you guys again, working on the the business plan. If you would like a copy of the business plan, it is available to members. You can become a member. Um, membership start at as low as $5 a month and you can cancel any time. So the business plan that I am working on, if you want a copy of that, you can become a member. The business plan is free and available to members. And I will leave a link to the membership platform down below. So if you're interested, join, become a member, and you have immediate access to this business plan. Not only do you have access to the business plan, you also have access to tons of courses, training resources, and um, different tools and things like that so that you can continue to build your business as a musician. You also have access to discounted coaching services, discounted coaching strategies one-on-one -on -one with me, half off, okay? So if you need to, to strategize and customize a plan for yourself as a musician, you just need to bounce around some ideas, come up with a targeted system for yourself to, to, to um, achieve success as a musician, to get to your next goal. 
you can become a member and have coaching sessions with me at half off. So that is the um, one of the many perks of becoming a, a member with the Crafty Musician membership community. And go ahead and click on the link and take a look and learn more about it. There are so many different perks that you can take advantage of as a member. Um, so if you're interested, click on the link and learn more about that. So we are going to get started with the business plan. And today we're going to be working on the business model. So get your document together. <clears throat> Let's pull up your business plan document and we're going to get started. Okay. The first thing I want to do is direct you to the blog post that I wrote about writing a business plan, how to write a business plan for musicians. It has an outline of the entire business plan. So if you want to um, skip ahead and start working on sections beyond what we're working on today, or if you want to go back, you can look at the outline and see how everything is sectioned off and organized to create your own business plan. Okay. So like I said before, we've done executive summary, we've done service or products, we've We've done the market analysis and today we're working on the business model okay all right so let's just go over the bullet points of what we're going to be doing today for the business model the business model basically describes the nuts and bolts of your operation how you intend on marketing your music in order to acquire new fans how you get your fans to spend money with you. Okay, so it's it's not enough just to put your music out there and hope for the best. You really have to have a plan and a strategy in place in order to achieve your goals, your financial goals. And that's what business people do, okay? We are business people out here. We're, we're not just out here doing music. We are business people. We are creatives. We are entrepreneurs and we know how to do business. That's why we're here today. We're doing business and we are working. Okay. The first thing on your business model is basically an explanation of how you intend on promoting your music to current fans and potential fans, how you gain exposure for your music. Then we'll talk about the different price points. What are your price points? How do you sell your different products and services? What um, merchandise do you sell? And we kind of went over that a little bit before, but we're going to kind of dive deeper with this specific idea in mind on pricing our services and products with a strategy in place. How do you plan on distributing your music? How do your customers, fans, find your music in the first place? What are your distribution chains? What are your supply chains? How do you produce your music and so that it can be market ready for people to actually listen to? And finally, how do you intend on marketing your services and products so that the customers, um, fans, I keep saying customers because I'm kind of switching back and forth from corporate lingo to uh, um to musician lingo, it's a little bit different. Instead of customers, we have fans and we have a fan base. And so um, it's a bit, it's a little bit different there. But as musicians, we tend to copy things, best practices from the corporate world to um, apply those same strategies to our business operations as creatives. And um, that's how we make our money, okay? So that's basically the outline of what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to ask you to go ahead and pull up your, your business plan. Okay, so the business model. At first glance here, I have just a basic introduction of what entails this section of the business model. So I'll go ahead and read that to you. Let me hold on. Let me, um, okay. The business model for August Lately will consist of a variety of initiatives to effectively market, promote, and sell music and services, including physical and online efforts. Initiatives will be carried out to expand reach to potential fans and clients, as well as to engage with current fans and clients. August Lately will carry out strategic marketing and sales tactics in an effort to earn a steady monthly income as described below. You could just copy and paste that entire thing. It's, it's very general, but it's just basically an introduction to what you're going to find in this section. 
And so right here, I have bulleted out what the various promotion initiatives are um, for August lately to current fans, okay? So I have separated out from what the promotions and marketing strategy is to current fans compared to getting potential fans because that's going to look a little different um, for this particular artist. Um, so that's how I basically organized this section, okay? So for current fans, what August Lately does, he has a newsletter, he has virtual events, he has social media, he does texting, instant messaging, and DMs. He has exclusive fan groups where he continues to network and um, expose his music to his current fans. His, um, I'm going to call these people loyal supporters because anyone who's in an exclusive fan group, whether it's a Patreon or just a, um, a exclusive Facebook group or something like that, anyone who takes the initiative to become a member of an exclusive group, that is a loyal fan and you definitely want to keep in touch with those people. And I do recommend having something set up like that so that you can start to build your tribe if you don't already have anything set up like that. Okay. And then lastly, a blog. Okay. So this next paragraph, well, these next several paragraphs will explain a little bit more in detail what what the what I have here listed from the this bulleted section, okay? So I'm just gonna kind of read that to you so you can kind of get a feel of of what the business model looks like in narrative form. Primary communication and marketing strategies targeting current fans will consist of an active newsletter campaign and a blog with a free subscription. Newsletters will be sent out on a monthly basis covering topics ranging from show announcements, general music activities and thoughts, music features, gig invitations, subscriber sales and new release campaigns. And the newsletter and blog articles will also be utilized as a sales tool to promote new music releases and merchandise, funding initiatives, things like that. For musicians, your newsletter is your biggest tool to market yourself to your current fans and to um, people who you're building relationships with. Similarly, um, if you have, if you have a, um, on Instagram, they have something called friends. There is like a, a friends circle or something like that on Instagram, or you can do uh, like Facebook groups or you can do text messaging. Texting is a big thing for, for marketing these days. However you directly communicate with your fans, this is how you can promote your marketing, promote your services and engage in marketing initiatives to your fans. You need to have some sort of direct line of contact with your fans. So that's what this is describing. Okay, now let's move on to virtual events. August Lately will host exclusive virtual events such as short coffee hour shows, chat sessions, studio tours, new merch reveals, meet and greets as a way to connect with current fans and sell music and merchandise. Now, you could possibly have a different way that you connect. There needs to be some sort of connection that you have on a consistent basis with your fans so that they can engage with you on a regular basis. You definitely want to be in top of mind. You want to be top of mind with your fans. You don't want to just like email them every other month or every two months and think that you're still going to have a, a positive rapport with them. You need to be constantly engaging with them so that they'll remember you, know what you're doing, and want to participate in your activities. Because if you think about it, you can lose touch with people that you have a relationship with, and they can forget all about you and not be as invested in you. You know the saying, out of sight, out of mind. 
And that goes for your fans as well, the relationship with your fans. If you're not connecting with them on a consistent basis, you are not in their minds. So if you do come out with your new release, you really kind of have to start from scratch and re-engage your fans. And that is the absolute worst. So a part of your business model definitely, definitely needs to be how you plan to consistently connect and engage with your fans and create opportunities for you to consistent, consistently and regularly interact and engage with your fans. Okay, let's move on to the next paragraph. August Lately will actively engage on social media, incorporate, incorporating a strategic content strategy for Instagram and Facebook. And so this kind of talks a little bit about the content strategy specifically. Okay, so for example, the strategy will focus on promoting authentic fan engagement and opportunities for organic dialogue with highly engaging conversational posts. Um, he'll also be doing periodic sales pitches. As new release campaigns come out, um, merchandise, new services, and newsletter promotions to incorporate as well. So on your social media, you definitely should sell yourself. Um, you definitely should sell your your new music, sell whatever you have on offer to, to earn your money. It should be a sales tool. And I do talk a lot about how you have to have some sort of balance as well. You can't just be selling, selling, selling all the time. So the conversational posts, the candid shots and just talking about what it's like to be a musician or talking about um, trends in um, current topics and hot topics, just talking about regular things, make yourself look like a regular person. So there's the balance, a balance between who you are as a musician, com conversing and engaging with your fans and also selling your, your artistic endeavors, okay? All right, so this, this next section is how you intend to promote to new fans and prospective clients, how you intend to market yourself just to get the information out to new listeners, prospective fans, prospective clients, okay? So August Lately is going to use social media, website, streaming platforms, marketplace platforms, and local initiatives to gain more exposure, to broaden his horizons, and get his music out there to potential new fans, okay? So these next paragraphs, we're going to explain exactly how August Lately intends to do that, okay? So in addition to active social media strategy to engage current fans, August Lately will utilize social media to target and attract new fans in various ways, including... Facebook ads, performing unique variations of cover songs, because cover songs tend to attract new people, new listeners. Utilizing trending hashtags. So let's say something, something happens with um, current topics or something happened in politics, something is happening in um, overseas, and you want to talk about it. You can use hashtags and talk about it and share your opinions about that and bring in new eyes, bring in a new audience onto your platform by piggybacking off of those hashtags, okay? Also engaging in hot button conversations, interacting with profiles, other profiles that cater to your target audience, you can host contests. Contests often bring in a lot of new people. And utilizing direct messaging features to engage with people. Okay? Maintaining an online presence for musicians is crucial for getting gigs, press, and earning credibility. Therefore, August Lately will put a significant amount of time and effort into maintaining a website that actively promotes and new, actively promotes upcoming and new releases, houses, a blogging engine, and a storefront for selling merchandise, promoting private gigs, and to house his electronic press kit and a way to get quotes for potential live performance opportunities, okay? The website informs active and prospective fans 
or clients about his musicianship artistry, promotes services offered, collects email addresses, when we talked about having that newsletter, to increase his subscriber base, okay? Now, August Lightning's website will support marketing and income earning efforts in the following way. So this is just a list of what the website does, what's on it, how it impacts, <clears throat> how it aligns with his marketing efforts and earning an income. And so I have listed out here all of the different elements that the website uses to market, market August Lightning, okay? So I'll just let you read that for a minute. <clears throat> Spell marketing room. Okay, so getting gigs. How does your website get gigs for you? How does your website get newsletter subscribers for you? What are the different ways that you enlist, <clears throat> you add subscribers to your mailing list on your website? What's your storefront? What does your storefront sell? Selling merchandise, selling music, selling services. Okay. Services like, um, I think in, in a previous segment of this series, we talked about um, telegrams, birthday messages, birthday songs. You can do video telegrams and that's something that you can sell on your storefront. Okay. Promoting upcoming and latest releases by utilizing a landing page. How does your website engage your fans? Okay, freebies for fans, music and video pages, and blog articles. Anything that your website does to keep the reader on it to learn more about you. Whether it's a blog post, whether it's a <clears throat> interactive thing, something like a game, or something that your fans can download for free in exchange for their website. Doesn't necessarily have to be music. Music is conventional for a musician, but you can also pr provide um, workbooks, journals, um, videos, um, how-to workshops, things like that. People, something that people can sign up for and get in exchange for their, for their um, email address. That's a way that you are marketing yourself. That's a way that you are converting a reader, a website reader to an actual subscriber or a fan okay so all those things need to be listed how is your website helping you achieve your goals okay okay so secondly exposure a big part of being a musician is exposure therefore August lately will actively pursue ways to get exposure from his music, including quarterly online radio campaigns for airplay, distribution on streaming platforms, Apple, Spotify, Amazon, among others. And also maintaining a profile on marketplaces to get gigs. So right now we're describing how August Lightly intends to, ex to gain more exposure and get gigs. Remember in this section here, in order to get your information out to prospective clients and new fans. We have a list here. One of the things that we talked about on this list was streaming platforms and marketplace platforms. So that's what we're describing down here, okay? Yours could be different. The way you intend on getting um, new fans or getting gigs could look a lot different. Let's say you are um, you're into sync licensing. The way you get gigs, the way you get um, placements, I guess you would call them. You would get into your studio and create your music, but you would put your music, add your music to um, a platform. There are lots of sync licensing platforms that you can add your music to and um, be a part of their inventory. So that's the way that you would do that. So you would list out whatever platforms you intend on adding yourself to. You would list out that you reach out to music supervisors periodically and you send them your new material or um, you network with music supervisors on a consistent basis. And that's how you intend on getting your, um, your name out there. Um, so, so yours can look a lot different. Maybe you're a wedding musician. 
So um, you would add yourself to wedding platforms. You would um, you intend on being a vendor at a wedding show. You intend on sponsoring events at a local bridal shop. Um, so those are things that you would do to market yourself and gain gain exposure. Okay, so yours might look a lot different. What depending on what your what your serv the services that you offer what they are or depending on what type of musician you are. So it's not it's not the same for everyone. And so right now we're just kind of going through an outline for August lately. But for you, you maybe will put in something different here. Okay. So August lately maintains profiles on various online marketplaces in order to get gigs. So here's a list of the marketplaces that he has added himself to for as far as profiles are concerned. Gig Salad, Thumbtack, Indie on the Move. I have Reverb Nation in here. It's just kind of a placeholder. I'm on Reverb Nation, but it does absolutely nothing for me. I don't know if it does anything for you, but Reverb Nation is pretty much, <laughs> it used to be a lot bigger than it is now. I, I haven't been on Reverb Nation in, in a long time, guys. I don't I don't even know what the what the um what the website even looks like anymore. You let me know. Are you on Reverb Nation? Is it doing anything for you? Have you found a replacement, a suitable replacement? <clears throat> Another one is Sonic Bits. I've tried Sonic Bits before and I it didn't really work out for me. Um, you have to submit and apply for gigs and a lot of times they want you to submit an application fee and things like that so I don't know but there are also house concert house concert platforms you can add yourself to um, so if you're in the house concerts you would add yourself there things like that okay also don't forget to look locally wherever you are there could be a directory of musicians locally that um, websites might offer. So if you have an arts council or if you have some sort of musicians directory, if you have calendars, um, events calendars that um, promote local events, they also might have a, a page dedicated to the local musicians. So look for, look for ways that you can make a splash locally and add yourself to whatever directories you can find. You can pick up gigs that way. You can um, get uh, more exposure that way. You could also, it also is a big help wherever your name is on the internet. That is a big help, especially if there's a link associated with that back to your website. That's a huge help for SEO purposes, search engine optimization. The more presence you have online, the more authority your website has, and it'll help your website to appear in search engines when people are searching for singer-songwriters or local musicians. If Google sees that other websites are linking to your website, it lends your website more credibility, so it'll serve up your website even more. I have resources, by the way, on search engine optimization for musicians, and I'll leave a link to that below in the description, just in case you want to learn more about how to optimize your website so that you'll show up in search engines more often, okay? All right, so moving on. To increase exposure with local residents of Louisville, August Lately periodically leaves postcards and flyers in community areas for locals to pick up. These include general flyers, business cards, show promotions, things like that. For important releases, August Lately provides free demo CDs with a flyer for display at a local coffee shop. So right now we're describing how August Lately promotes himself on a local level. What are you doing to promote yourself locally? Like if you're trying to get local gigs, you really need to be out there, be you know, present, have some sort of a presence locally. How do you do that? So use this paragraph to further explain what you're doing to promote yourself on a local level. Other local initiatives include mailing postcards, fact sheets to local event planners, venues, venue rental facilities, 
and property managers to promote live entertainment services, okay? In addition to promoting live entertainment services, a significant effort will be allocated toward getting music lesson clients. You know, we talked about before that a part of August Lately Services and how he earns money is music lessons. So this kind of describes a little bit about what he's doing locally to get more more clients for his music lessons. Information packets and brochures are mailed or hand delivered to local school boards and parents groups, um, parent groups to promote music lesson services. How are you promoting your services locally? Okay. Additionally, flyers, business cards, postcards will be displayed at local music shops to promote music lessons. Okay, and also since August lately does virtual lessons, I don't know if you if you do music lessons, if you do virtual lessons, you also need to explain a little bit about how you intend to promote your services, <clears throat> your remote um, remote music lessons. How do you promote that? How do you get clients to meet with you virtually for for music lessons? To increase opportunities for remote lessons, August Lightly will post short music lesson videos for kids on his YouTube channel. A promotion to become a music student will be included with every video. Okay, so you'll be going through all of your services and explaining how you intend to promote those services. He has another paragraph here for studio services and how he promotes that to other musicians. Okay. So let's move on to the pricing strategy. Right here, you're gonna outline and list out all of your services, all of your products, and how much they are. And we don't have to go through all of these. I'll just kind of leave this here and kind of <clears throat> go through a, uh, a few of them. But for this section, you'll be talking about your services, the products you offer, and how much they are. Okay, so music, he has a streaming subscription for $10 a month. He has physical CDs, ringtones. He has live entertainment. How much of a private gigs? How much are public venues? How much does he charge for farmers markets? Things like that. How much do we charge for music lessons? What are all the merchandise items? How much do we charge for that? And studio session work. And this is a breakdown. This is really cool. I always love doing this. You basically put together and categorize all of your services and products and you estimate how much you think you, you're, you'll make from each of those categories each month. And then you total it up and you get to see an estimate of what you can be doing financially each month. Okay, so basically from this estimate each month, August lately earns 2000 a month from his music endeavors, okay? Music distribution. How do you intend on distributing your music into the market so that people can access it, okay? So music will be distributed through website, physical CDs, and various online platforms such as. And then there's a list of ways August Lately makes his music available for purchase, okay? So you would list out how you make your music available for purchase. Supply chain. Your supply chain is how you produce music, how you produce your products in order to get them market ready, in order to get them available for purchase. So I'll read through this. August Lately's business model focus, um, business model focuses on less overhead and more income. Thus, he has invested in studio equipment so that he can self-produce music. Music is generally recorded and mastered in the home studio for free. Local musicians will be invited to collaborate as backup vocals or add an instrumentation for a nominal fee. So we're describing how <clears throat> music is produced for August Lately. How is your music produced? Do you go to a studio? Do you produce it at home? Let's talk about that a little bit and kind of list out what you're doing to how, how you're creating your music and making it available. Okay, so we have um, a little statement here for how we're producing physical CDs and a little statement for how we are merchandising 
okay? Merchandise is manufactured, stored, and shipped through a third party. Merchandise is print on demand, so there are no upfront fees, storage costs, or traditional supply fees needed. So this kind of, basically the theme here for the supply chain is that we're not putting a lot of money into overhead expenses. We're not putting a lot of money into producing um, into producing the products and music. Our money goes to marketing and promoting. So that's basically what this section is explaining, okay? So let's get into the marketing efforts. What are the marketing efforts? And this is the last section, guys, of this music business plan. Um, not the plan, the business model, the last section of the business model. In summary, August Lately uses a mix of organic and paid social media initiatives, streaming platforms, a well-structured online presence, online marketplaces, and local networking to promote music and get gigs. Additionally, August Lately engages in sales and marketing strategies to maintain a consistent calendar of gigs and service projects. And so it lists out the strategies. So this is, um, this is basically a conclusion. So we're kind of wrapping everything we've already said. We're wrapping that up into a nice little bow to conclude this segment. So music mar marketing efforts consist of new release promotions to newsletter subscribers in tandem with social media content to boost sales. Quarterly membership drives for August Lately for the streaming service subscription, quarterly mailings to local venues, and virtual new merchandise reveal events. Service marketing efforts. How does August Lately market his services? Seasonal discounts for music lessons to coincide with back to school and holidays. Those are really big um, times of the year when people like to spend money, people like to invest in educating their children. So he's going to kind of piggyback off of that. So he's explaining how he's going to market his services, use, utilizing these special times of year. Okay. And uh, on YouTube and through local networks and local <laughs> flyering. Okay, um, utilizing paid ad space in recital and graduation program booklets, sponsoring local op open mic night to promote studio services. Okay, and lastly, I have on here, in addition to effective marketing strategies, August Lately also relies on good customer service and word of mouth to acquire new clients and maintain a positive rapport with current fans and clients. Okay. All right, guys, so this is the business model. We went through how we intend to market not only to our current fans, but also how we intend to get more exposure to attract new fans, to attract clients, and how we intend to sell our services, what our pricing strategy is, what we have on offer, and what we're selling. We also did a little bit of breakdown on how those sales and products add up to accumulate a monthly income, how we intend to distribute our products and services, what our supply chain is. And finally, we included a little conclusion here on what marketing strategies would look like throughout the year. So that is the business model. Let me know, guys, if you have any questions, you can always email me or um, post a comment down here on this YouTube video. I'm always looking for um, comments or questions and ways that I can help further, um, further explain or get you to the next point in your understanding of building your foundation for your music business, okay? Again, I want to invite you to become a member and to join the Crafty Musicians Membership Program. Like I said before, memberships can start as low as $5 a month. You'll have access to this, um, <clears throat> to August Lately's music business plan. You'll also have access to any future 
resources like this that I have available. For this music business clinic series, I intend to go through other documents and other foundational pieces that you'll need, such as contracts, such as um, not only contracts, but also you might need to create invoices. You might need to create um, your quoting, uh, a quoting count, a quoting calculator. <clears throat> We're going to be going through all of those ways to set up the foundation of your music business during this business clinic. And everything that I have during this music business clinic will be available for members. So this is an ongoing process, guys. So um, get in, become a member, and you'll have access to this. You'll be notified every time that we upload something or create any new resource. You'll be notified and you'll, you'll have access to that depending on your membership level. I'll leave a link to the membership program down below in the description box. Go ahead and check that out. Learn more, become a member, and we will see you on the next Music Biz Clinic. Let's see, the next section after the business model is organization and management team. So we'll be talking about how your business is organized, who's on your team, what they're doing, what they're responsible for, and how your organization structure is set up. We are almost done with the business plan, guys. And I just want to say thank you so much for <clears throat> sticking with us through this entire series. I've had people say, when's the next segment? When's the next video coming out? I've got this. I've got that. I'm ready for the next. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of this. I'm so glad that you're here. Again, let me know if you have any questions. You can always email me or um, comment down in this, um, in the comment section down below. Okay, guys, thank you so much and have a great day or evening, whatever time you're watching this. <clears throat> I really appreciate you and remember that you can do anything you set your mind to as long as you commit yourself and believe. All right. Thank you guys and we'll see you next time.